something fun for you to watch today, or at least I hope it will be, it's not going to be fun for me to do. But before I get on to that, I just wanted to ask you if you'd subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and it means that you get notified whenever I'm online, so just click subscribe and click the bell and then you'll get all the notifications. So on to today's video. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today is basically a really, really horrible fitness test. Uh, why? Well, a few weeks ago, uh, when I was training, I was really, really struggling to hit the right power and stay in the right zones. And it made me think, maybe my fitness and my FTP has gone down since last time I tested it. So I thought, I really need to do another fitness test uh, in order to make sure that I'm training in the right zones. Uh, but the thing is, I hate FTP tests. So I was trying to think of an alternative to doing one, and I came across the Sufferfest's full frontal fitness test. Now, the Sufferfest is a kind of online training app where you watch videos and you coach through workouts that have intervals set for you, and you can hook it up to your turbo trainer and all that sort of thing. Their full frontal fitness test is a bit different to an, well, very different to an FTP test in that it doesn't just measure your 20 minute power. They put you through a bunch of horrible, horrible, horrible intervals, not just an FTP test, and then at the end, you get to see what kind of rider they consider you to be, and uh, you can identify any real strengths or weaknesses that you have. Unfortunately, it's a horrible, 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 horrible test, and I was looking for an alternative to an FTP test. I've, I'm going to be doing something that's much, much worse. But let's give it a go. I'm going to jump on the bike, warm up, and do my very best. What do you actually have to do? It begins with two seven second sprints, and then you have five minute max power test, and then you have a 20 minute max power test. And then you have a one minute max power test. So it sounds really, I mean, just doing a 20 minute max power test, an FTP test, is horrible. And I've got to do that after I've done a five minute max power test, so... So what are your expectations then? Well, honestly I feel like my FTP's gone down. Because last time I did the test, it was at the end of the race season. Um, so I'm worried I'm going to get a bad result. I'm hoping that because I'm doing this so publicly and you're filming me and I'm putting out a video, I'm hoping that maybe that'll spur me on to get a better result. I've also been told to have a sick bucket at the ready and uh, I haven't. Actually, I should have got one. So my expectation is, I don't know, I just think it's going to be horrible. I've actually written out what my five minute power is and what my 20 minute power is. Um, so I want to hit those at least. I don't care about bettering them, I want to hit those those figures. Which will be really hard considering you're going to have done a five minute effort before you do your 20 minute power. Well, Sufferfest say don't yeah. expect to get the same result you would normally get in your 20 minute power test. But obviously I still want to get it. Yeah. Ready? No, I'm not even putting out the right watts now, and this is the warm up. I just didn't see that suddenly I was going to put out 178. So, <laughs> to, to be fair, at the start, I was watching you, you were going to be doing like 100, and you were on like 140. So. Oh, see, I just don't pay attention. That's why when I did it, did the last FTP test, I put it on Earth mode. Because I just zone out. The thing with the Sufferfest app and videos is they give you instructions on the screen. So it'll tell you when you've got to go hard and ease off and stuff like that. So if you're not watching, you'll miss it. And I just keep chatting to Dave and missing it, don't I? <laughs> when do I do the max five then? <laughs> I'll tell you. Prepare yourself. I'm just going to mess it up, I know it. There you go, I'll give you a good The green bar gets to the end, so you want to go. Five, four, three, two. Go, 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 go. I spun out and I changed gear and then I couldn't turn the pedals. I yeah, saw so your legs just grind to a hole. Rubbish! I knew that was going to happen. The problem is, I don't know what gear I'm in. That's why I wanted to do it on Cyclops. Yeah. 
So you're on a bike. You know what gear you're in. No, it's not as instant as gear changing on a normal bike. Like there's a delay. And also, you don't know which one you're in. You can't yeah. feel it or see it. I was going to do this uh, tomorrow and now looking at Juliet and it's only the five minute effort. Oh my god. I think I'm going to have to do this next week though. I am. It's brutal and it kind of looks like a really horrible kind of fun. Um, a minute 30 left. Let's see how she's doing. I won't talk to her until she's finished because I'll definitely get something thrown at me like a bead on. 20 seconds. And now after that you get a whopping great five minutes to recover, which is going to go extremely fast I'm sure. I don't think I can do it. It's so horrible having you watch me, it's just the worst, I hate it. I just need to suffer on my own, it's awful. If I was like a pretend to be a crowd member and think you'd be a cowbell, would that make you feel better? It's not the same, it's just horrible. Not funny at all. Well, you've got the 20 minute power then, so I will leave you to suffer in peace. Thanks. I know what Juliet's max heart rate is and she is well above that and has been for quite some time so honestly I don't think she's gonna be 100% happy with her power data because she never is but like there's no way she can think she didn't try her absolute hardest Ten seconds. to win everything go, 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 go. Five, four, three, two, one. I kind of gave up halfway through and then thought do this I'll give up and then I said like, but then I'm gonna to have to do it another time 
and I never ever ever want to do it ever again so I had to carry on I think my power was quite low but my heart rate was so high and I had half a gel after five minutes really bad mistake because I really 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 thought I was going to be sick like the whole time just dealing with vomit and now I've got to do a one minute max power test but at least it's only a minute but that's awful I hate this I really it's so much worse than an FTP test which I hate and I'm never ever doing it again not ever no time like you do that I was just thinking about the cabbie's cream egg in my pocket of my jacket. I can't do it. You've done it? That's it? Yeah but I messed it up all of it. Yeah but like the first time you do a 20 minute power test you don't know how hard you can go. I just suck. So you've got no idea you don't suck. Well actually we'll see if you suck in a minute when we get your power results right? <laughs> no. I'd say like ignore power, like your heart rate doesn't lie, right? So your heart weight, heart, heart weight, your heart rate for a race, say if you're like 170, 172 for the whole race, that's a hard race. And for your 20 minute power, you're like well over 175 for the duration, I'd say. I saw 180 at the end, so you can't try any harder. Yeah, you're gonna go as, like, as hard as your heart will let you go. The point is, I tried as hard as I could, and my hardest, was rubbish. Anyway, we'll see. So it's now a few days later. I did actually film uh, a conclusion where I looked at my results right after I did the FTP test with full Alice Cooper makeup all over my face. Uh, and in that video, I apologised to Dave for being mean because I kept kind of shooing him away when he was sticking a camera in my face even though I asked him to film me. But yeah, it's just a really hard test and I didn't like that bit. Anyway, I did film all that, but unfortunately I was using a new microphone and it didn't record any audio. So I thought um, if I was watching this video, I'd wanna see what the results were. Um, so here I am about to show you what I actually got and what Sufferfest made of me. So they have deemed me a sprinter, which is interesting because I kind of thought that myself anyway, but it's nice to have that validated. Um, in other news, my FTP hasn't really gone down. Um, my score was just two watts below what I got at the end of race season last year, so that's pretty good. Also, um, I have lost a bit of weight since I even set up Suff Sufferfest, so that means that my watts per kilo are going to be even higher than the 3.82, the 3.86, that they've put here. So that's really cool. Um, the bad news is my uh, one minute power and five minute power are pretty awful. Um, so that's disappointing, but I guess you can't be good at everything. Oh God, one thing I haven't even mentioned, halfway through the 20 minute power test, I actually stopped pedaling for a little bit. I stopped pedaling for about 30 seconds because I was like, I can't do it. Um, but then I realised that if I stopped then, if I quit then in the middle of the 20 minute power test, I'd have to do the whole thing all over again later. So I just started again. So yeah, that probably affected my 20 minute power result, but hopefully not too much. 
what I like about this is that it shows you exactly where you're weak and it suggests what you can do about it. So apparently I need to raise my aerobic ceiling, do VO2 work, and it suggested some really nasty sounding high intensity interval sessions in order to do that. So would I do the test again? No, but I am glad I did it because I'm really into all this sort of data and I'm really pleased to, learn, to know that my FTP hasn't dropped over winter. Would I recommend it to you? Um, you've got to be feeling really, really strong to even attempt it. I mean, strong mentally, not strong physically, because it's just so, so hard to get keep going. It's way worse than an FTP test. And you can't skimp on the effort because otherwise the results will be all off and the subsequent training that you do over the next few months will all be off as well. So I hope you found this interesting um, and haven't waffled too much rubbish. If you've got any questions about Sufferfest and what I'm doing in this test then leave them in the comments below. This isn't sponsored by Sufferfest, I just thought it was an interesting thing to try. Um, if you like the video give it, a, give it a thumbs up and as I already said it'd be really cool if you'd subscribe. Thanks, bye!